All right, here we go. Here's a video of my uh, three small crawlers. I've got the Kyosho Jimny with the light kits, the weighted wheels, the brass knuckles, the brass rear axle, um, the axle ends on there, and what else have I got on this? I think that's pretty much up for up upgrades. We're going to try to run it through a quick little obstacle course here and see how well it does with my water crossing with the stock tires. And then we're also going to run uh, this truck here through the same, through, this is the RGT with uh, aluminum bead locks and then we have the the axial 124 scale crawler with oil filled shocks from Kyosho so we're going to try that on the course but we're, this, one, this one has the small tires we're going to try this one first and see how well it can handle the water crossing I don't expect it to do well oh that's not too bad it's, oh, oh she's slipping let's back it up a little bit there we go See, that's one way you can have a water crossing without actually ruining your stuff and simulate uh, slippery uh, terrain such as water or whatever. So I'm going to try to run it just another loop around here. Over the bag of tires. There we go. Works pretty good. The weighted tires seem to be pretty nice. The problem with the weighted tires on the Jimny though, however, is that what happened is when they put the weights in there, you lose some of the squish. So all this squish of the foam for, for deformation of the tire, you lose a little bit of that. The, the hard part you can see me squeezing right now. I'm actually hitting hard steel. There's steel rings inside right from Kyosho when I weighted them, but um, it does keep the CG down and it seems to help a little bit. Um, it seems to run okay. One more lap with this and then we'll try the other two trucks. Let's go through the water crossing again. Oh, if I can get past it, into it. There we go. Oh, there we go. That looks good. Oh, that's better. That's better. And a little bit off camber. Let's see if we go back how well it does up this way. So the Kyosho is not too bad. I like it. It's pretty smooth. You do get a lot of boat steer though with the steering, the way it's hooked up without uh, a pan hard bar and the way it's set up. But that's okay. It still runs pretty good. There she goes. All right. Let's try a different truck. Let's turn that off. Whoops. Sorry about the camera. Goof that up real quick. Let's turn this off and try a different car real quick. I haven't tried this one yet. This one's going to be new to... Um, I have not run it with these tires on there as of yet. But we're going to... Let's see if this thing's... Oh, I apologize. Got to plug in the battery. That's going to take a second. Hold on. Let's get this going. I forgot the battery was unplugged. So fast I can do this so I don't bore you guys to death on YouTube. There we go. Quick body change. So body clip on. Oh. oh going in there so we'll test like i said these are the bead locks and these are the rc four-wheel drive rock uh rock creeper tires i've got the 10 scale ones on one of my other vehicles which i really like a lot so we'll just go two body clips for now oh there we go so let's see what this thing can do a little bouncy of course because of the locked because of the locked disc but i, I don't suspect it's gonna have much of a problem with the water crossing in fact we're going to add more water to the middle Bring these back over here, make, make it a little more even. Let's see what it does through the water crossing. All right, let's see what we got here. There we go. Whoops. Nice and slow, kind of scale. Oh, there's no problem at all. That works really well. Yeah, that truck works great. I like this truck now with those tires and wheels. It's the first time using them, like I said, with the tires and the bead locks. And it takes the, the weight down a little low. It gives a little better CG. And then we'll come over to tire bag again. Do one more lap through the water. One more lap. I'm going to turn that camera down a little bit more. A different angle here. I apologize. I'm not good at this whole video thing yet. But we're going to... We'll get better. All right, let's try it one more time. I'll go through the deeper stuff on the sides. Right here. Now what these are, these are just... These are just beads you can buy at a craft store. I just bought like a bunch of bags of different ones, the round, smooth beads. So again, again, they stimulate water, at least in my opinion, a slippery surface that gives it a little bit of a challenge to get through. There you go. Then back around again. All right, let's get that rear tire on that right there. We go. See what that does. Well, that thing works really well. Nice articulation. Tires don't really rub. Doesn't seem like they rub too bad on the body. And then, whoa. Oh boy. We're gonna have to go this way. There, do a save. There we go. Do a nice little save there. 
All right, now let's try a different truck if I can get this changed. Sorry, they're not we weren't ready to go right away. Let's see about this one. Now we're going to run the axial on the same course. I don't know if the battery's plugged into this yet. Either oh, it's just simpler. Just flip it and plug in the battery. Yeah, this one's a lot easier to get going. There we go. Much better. So let's get this one running for you so I don't bore you to death. I apologize for all this downtime. I don't have editing software or anything good like that. But anyway, there's the FCX. There's the 124 scale, which I really love. For the money, for the money you can't beat this truck. I mean, I put beadlocks, yes, heavy aluminum beadlocks on it. And uh, some other things. I don't know what that is there. Some little cap or something. So it basically just has beadlocks, oil-filled shocks. I used Kyosho's buggy shocks on this thing. So let's see how well it does in the water section. This should probably do well, I anticipate. Shouldn't have much of a problem. Oh my god, look at that. Just floats right across it like nothing. I say we go by I say we I say we make it a little harder on it. Let's try again. Let's go in the deeper stuff over here. There we go. Let's get that, let's get that baby really dug in. Seems like it wants to float. Let me see if I get stuck. Alright, yeah, now I should be near the bottom. Doesn't even matter. Look at that thing. I think it just has no problem at all going through this type of terrain. The x field does so well on this stuff. It's such, it's such a nice vehicle. Worm gear drive. The other ones don't have worm gear. So basically this has like a drag brake built in. If you if you notice, it's uh, as soon as you stop, you can't push it because, it like I said, with worm gear drive, you can't force the tires to turn manually. So as long as the motor stops, this thing's not going to budge. It has to have the motor running for it to uh, basically have the motor turning the... Sorry for the camera work. Trying to adjust it. I don't know how wide angle view that is here. Because I don't have a screen. I'm just using an action camera. So we'll go through the water one more time. A little off camera. Let's, let's, see if we, let's see if we go a little harder. There we go. I mean, this truck's pretty amazing. There we go. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. I know we're going to make it. There we go. Perfect. And, and then we're going to go through the water. I'll, okay, I'll tell you what I'll try to do. Turn this thing around. Let's just let's, let's see if we can reverse out of this thing. There we go. Look at that. Like nothing. Whoa, maybe. There we go. There we go. Excellent. Then over the bag of tires. And then one more time through the water, and then that'll be the end of the video. Just wanted to demonstrate the difference in the uh, between the RGT, the Axial, and the Kyosho. I like them all very much, and uh, so I wouldn't have a problem with the, any one of them. So just a quick video, just something to just something to show up and see what you guys think. So have a great day.